You're a brat, chicken. <laughs> I am having a battle with the chickens right now. They keep jumping up <laughs> because I opened up this barn and they really, really, really want to lay eggs in here and I really don't want them to. I have pushed that one chicken down like 20 times already. So today, <laughs> she jumped up again. <laughs> so today we are fasting from the thought, I feel anxious. Now, I've been going through, um, you can watch the other really cool, um, just little tidbits of other things that we need to fast from um, in the previous days. So you can check those out. Okay, so fasting from anxiety. I think anxiety is a huge thing. You know, yesterday we talked about unhappiness. I think that's a really big thing that's happening now is just kind of an epidemic of unhappiness, but I think anxiety is a part of that as well. And I think it's really easy to get anxious because we have a world filled with lots of lots of lots of everything. Well, our schedules are full. Our uh, just it's just a busy world, and that makes that brings on anxiety. So we need to fast from it. You know, a lot of times we can feel anxious, and we'll start to feel shortness of breath. We'll start to feel chest pains. We'll start to our like our body will react from anxiety, and so it is really important that we. I'm having a wreck with goats. So when anxiety gets you, you need to remember to attack back. Don't just lay down and let it get you. You need to have the word of God hidden in your heart so that you can say the promises of God. I've been talking a lot in this last week about the promises of God, but we need to be able to immediately start talking and praying God's word. His word is powerful and it can defeat Satan. So attack back with God's word and remember it's maybe not necessarily something you are doing that is causing the anxiety attack. It could be Satan because he comes to kill, steal, and destroy. He wants to destroy you and we can be destroyed sometimes through anxiety. So remember where it's coming from and then use God's word to attack back. I keep referring to the past days of me talking about this subject, but really they are, they're building blocks and we've got to remember, we can't just like move from one thing to the next and say, oh, I've got that covered. I don't need to work on it anymore. It is a continual reminder. So you need to remember your value. You are loved by God. You are valuable, and because of that, he has your back, and, and he, he loves you. And that is a beautiful thing. You also need to breathe praise to God. So they say that breathing, you know, the act of breathing, helps with anxiety. But when we add that, that we're, um, that let everything that has breath praise the Lord, when we add that um, breathing to meditation and, and saying and, and singing God's word, it has a, power, a powerful effect on ourselves and our atmosphere. And so when you're feeling anxious, start practicing these things and, and really banish anxiety from your life. So don't let it win and and remember that your your thoughts what you're saying so just remember that you need to be speaking out god's word and and really directing that that word to where the source of the anxiety is coming from which is usually satan himself so don't let him kill steal and destroy your life beat and defeat anxiety by speaking and breathing god's word what are you talking about, chicken? Get out of here. Stinker.
almost fell. So I'll be honest, when I first put down this color on, you know, and it's showing the original color and then this right next to each other, I about freaked out because I thought, oh no, I don't like it. What if I don't like it? But I actually do like the way it turned out. It's a very rich brown. I thought at first, oh no, it's black, black, but it really is not, I don't think. So I do like the way it turned out. Now I just need to figure out the edging here. Um, and I'm not sure exactly how I'm gonna do that to finish the edges. And so then after that, uh, I have hinges coming. I ordered some other, I think they're SOS, is that how you say it? S-O-S-S -S hinges. And so they'll be here on Friday and um, hopefully that will be the solution to um, opening this up, our secret compartment. And then, then, uh, polyurethane will be the next huge part of it so I just have to be patient as I do that so where are we going guys to Awana Awana yeah. and these guys enjoy it so much so I'm just one of the helpers and these guys obviously participate so we're heading there this afternoon we had of a rodeo with the goats and I didn't record it I don't know what I was thinking it would have been a fun addition to the video because the goats got out on the road and in those moments I was thinking I don't want them to get hit so I wasn't at all thinking about recording but they um, came back through the fence they just they can get through anything so they are now officially officially locked up the hay field right now doesn't have much grass in it and so they're looking for, they're just doing what goats do, <laughs> browsing. And they browsed across the fence, but it's on a road, so it's kind of dangerous. So I had a fun afternoon doing that. <laughs> and now we're going to Awana.